up. You want to leave it in there? Yeah. All right, good morning. I want you to know Dr. Hinojosa is on his way. He should be here any minute. And I was going to talk after him, but uh, that's what we did the other day in transportation, and he stole half my speech. So I didn't have a whole lot to say at that time. But uh, welcome, welcome back. Welcome to Dallas ISD, one of the best school districts in the entire country. I know Gloria kind of recognized the executive staff, the leadership staff, but I want to take a moment to recognize all of you. Uh, I'm going to have the director, EDs, come up here as I call them, and I want to start with Gloria. Gloria, come on up here. Gloria is our deputy chief of operations. Uh, been here about a year? 11 months and 15 days. 11 months and 15 days. Not that she's counting, but uh, we hired Gloria a while back and she has just done a tremendous job for us in operations. She deals with a lot of the personnel issues, operational issues, and uh, she has uh, really, really been a tremendous help to me and to the department. So let's give her a round of applause. All right, and then our Executive Director of Maintenance Facility Services, Christopher Gray. Everybody knows Chris. He's, he's been in this role, I don't know, nine months? Tell me how long. 22 hours, no, like a little bit. A little over a year, he said. So Chris was our Director of Environmental Services, and he moved up and took over maintenance and facility services, and he's done a great job. And he's over many, many departments within the division. And at this time, I'd like everyone that works in Chris's departments to please stand so we can recognize you. Be maintenance, grounds, custodial, energy management, environmental, records management, fleet management, warehouse, property management. So please stand so we can recognize you. Thank you for what you do for us. Next will be Michael Rosenberger. Michael is the master chef of the group. Uh, if you ever need to eat, Michael's the one that can cook something up for you. He runs our food service department. He's been here, I know, probably a year, year and a half? Year and a half. Year and a half. And uh, I actually brought him over from Irving ISD when I, when I came to Dallas. But he does a tremendous job for us in food service, has a lot of great ideas, a lot of innovative things going on in food service. Uh, that's really going to make things better for our kids. So at this time, if we could have everyone in the food service department, please stand so we can recognize you. All right, the next group I'm going to recognize is construction. Mr. Struesley, stand up. I'll clap for you. <laughs> we did bring a celebrity dancer with us today. Okay, Tim, Tim runs uh, Construction Services, our bond program. Tim's probably been here a year and a half, two years. Okay. Uh, Tim was one of my first hires when I got here two years ago. And he came to us from uh, Round Rock ISD, uh, prior to that, he was in Clark County, which is Las Vegas area. Uh, he's a registered architect. He's been in education, construction for a long time. And he just does a great job for us. And we're so proud of the work that he's doing, his department is doing, 
relative to the bond program. So I know not a whole lot of them are here today, but if you're in construction services, please, please stand up so we can recognize you. All right, Chief Miller. Chief Miller's over our police and security departments. Give him a round of applause. How you doing, Chief? Seven years. Seven years. All right. So he, he already told me how long he's going to be here, or he's been here, so I know. Chief Miller's been with us for seven years, and he runs uh, all the police and security for the district. He has over 200 police officers that provide a safe and secure environment uh, for our kids, our staff, our community, and just does a fantastic job for us. So if you're with the police department, and I know a lot of them are out in the parking lots, but if you're with the police security department, please stand so we can recognize you. So, with all those departments, we have, within support services, we have 4,953 employees within support services operations. That's pretty amazing. It really is. We have about 21,000 total employees in the district. Uh, other than the teachers, the educational staff, this is by far the largest division in the district. And as far as I'm concerned, it's the most important too, because what you do is provide a good, healthy environment uh, for our kids, which is the most important. At this time, I'm gonna pause and bring to the stage our leader for Dallas ISD. I know many of you will recognize him. Uh, I'm so honored to be able to work for this man. Uh, he does such a great job and sets such a fine example for all of us. So please join me in welcoming the superintendent of schools for Dallas ISD, Dr. Michael Hinojosa. Thank you, thank you. Thank you and good morning. Welcome everybody. Good morning, Dallas ISD! <laughs> Somebody asked me not too long ago how long I've been with Dallas. Well, I was a student for over a decade, a teacher and a coach for almost a decade, and now a superintendent for almost a decade. So that's 30 something, 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 something years I've been here. But we're here to talk about you, and I want to tell you uh, I'm very proud of your work. Uh, as I go to schools every Wednesday, I see the, the quality of your work. As I go and say hello to our cafeteria staff or look at the grounds work. And now we've added a thousand new employees in our brand new transportation department. And I really want to thank all of you for the tremendous work that you do for us. I'll, I'm also here to tell you that I have a little bit of good news. Uh, the good news that I have for you is that in two, I told the board yesterday, and in two weeks, I'm going to have the board vote um, because we developed this budget and there was not a salary increase unless, unless the tax ratification election passed. We're going to ask the board to call for an election to get us some money for future years. But we did not, at the time, have enough revenue to be able to give every employee in Dallas ISD a raise. However, we got good news this week, and so now I am recommending to the board that we are able to give a 3% salary increase for all of our employees. <laughs> And the good news is, 
if the community supports us on this election, then uh, we'll have more money so we can do this every year for the next five years. Let's have a great day. Wow, that'll wake you up, won't it? You know, I need to bring him around more often, don't I? Wow, what great news, and I was hoping he would announce that. I know uh, we've struggled for the last three or four years and not been able to give any raises, but I really think this proves there's, there's hope on the horizon you know, 3% this year, and with the TRE that will go to the voters, uh, it lays out a five-year plan that includes strategic compensation for our employees for the next five years. So we're very excited about that. Now, when I, when I stopped talking before, I, I sat back down and, and one of the executive directors said, you forgot us, you forgot us, don't, don't forget us. I didn't forget them because I wanted to save them for last because they're our newest, newest group to the family this year. Dr. Smith, come on up here. So I hired Dr. Smith probably six years ago, six, six, years ago, six months ago, came to us from Beaumont. And I want you all to know that I've been here two years I looked like him when I came here two years ago. So you can see what happens to a person in, in two years here in Dallas. But I, I might have a little more hair than him, but maybe. But uh, Kane came to us from Beaumont ISD, uh, where he ran the transportation department. He's worked in several other school districts. Uh, he actually drives a bus. He has his commercial driver's license, and he's been in uh, K-12 transportation for about 15 years. So he's just done a tremendous job trying to get this program. You know, when you hire a thousand people, 1,100 people, and inherit a thousand buses, and you're told to get a program in place in six months, it, it can be pretty overwhelming. But him and his staff have just done a tremendous job getting our new transportation department going. So folks in student transportation, Please stand up so we can recognize you. Thanks. <laughs> All right. We are so happy to have you as part of our family this year. I know it's, it's, it was a difficult year last year with everything that was going on, but um, like I, I told you the other day, don't be looking back because you can never see where you're going in the future. So let's just look ahead and make sure we do what we need to do to provide the, the best environment, the best services we can for our kids. One thing I want to mention is talk a second about the job you all do. Uh, I consider support division uh, the most important because without all of you, the principals, the kids, the teachers wouldn't be able to do what they do. And I always tell people, you know, this job, a service job, you are here to provide a service so people can function, people can operate. If you're here to receive a pat on the back for the great job you're doing, you're probably in the wrong division because very little compliments, it's, it's always problems. And, and that's just the nature of this business. And everyone just has to come to terms with that's the way it works. But I wanna tell you, I appreciate you. And I know the executive directors and the directors appreciate you and the principals and Dr. Hinojosa. So, so hang in there and have a good year. Our year, this year, we're, our primary focus is going to be on customer service, having the right attitude 
towards those kids and towards those teachers because the superintendent does a survey every year by division, sends it out to the principals, and we are ranked on how good our customer service is. The first year I was here, we were ranked dead last out of 10 divisions. Very poor customer service. Last year, we went from 10th up to 7th, okay? So we climbed three slots. So I am really hoping to have a great year. I don't think we can get to number one because some of those other divisions are very small and they do different things, but you know, if we can continue to improve, that's what's going to be important to us. Let me talk real briefly about three initiatives we have going on this year. Of course, Dr. Hinojosa told you about the raises that will go into effect shortly. Uh, the TRE, tax ratification election that the board will vote on next week, would allow the district to receive additional money from the taxpayers that would provide for our programs over the next five years. The other thing we're finishing up on is our long range master plan for facilities and technology. The technology plan went to the board yesterday and we're pretty much complete with that and we'll be going to a one-to-one -one, uh, student devices throughout the district this next year and that will be a three-year process so we're very excited about that. The long range master plan for facilities will go to the board this next month and we have been working on that for over a year. I am so excited about that plan because for the first time in Dallas ISD we will have a master plan of every one of our facilities that will tell us what needs to be done in terms of maintenance, in terms of uh, kitchens, cafeterias. We have never had that before. I was amazed when I got here, and we're, we're kind of in the middle of a bond program, and we've got a good idea of what needs to be done, but we don't have it down on paper. And we're so excited to finally get a master plan that we can apply throughout the district, and hopefully, hopefully, get our facilities up to the level that our kids and all of you deserve. The last thing I want to mention, and I told this to the transportation department the other day, opening day. Opening day is August 20th, right? Not next Monday, but the Monday after. I consider opening day, the first day of school, the most important day of the year for this division. And let me tell you why. There are so many people that are so excited on the first day of school, parents, community members, many, many of those folks, that will be the only time they ever come to any of our schools all year. So what's that mean? They are going to form their perception of this school district, of this division, of you, based on what they see on that first day of school, okay? So it is incredibly important that our lawns look good, Koi, our lawns look good, our buildings look good, and they're comfortable and inviting. And I want to hear great things. I really do. I want to hear great things about you. I don't care about myself. I, I care about all of you and I want people to be proud of what you do for this district. So this year, when you work at those schools, when you see teachers, when you see kids, I want you to be courteous, be nice, be compassionate, and most important, be great. Because this is one of the greatest departments, I have no doubt, in the state of Texas, if not throughout the country. So have a great year. I look forward to seeing what you can do this year. And please, make us proud. Thank you.